All right, guys. So a video that I did recently, which is the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds, has basically sparked me wanting to review the product I'm gonna talk about today, and that is the Tozo Open Buds. Now these have actually been out for a little while. Uh, they've actually been on my shelf for a little while, but we have seen this like huge surge in open earbuds, a, a huge amount of popularity and a lot of interest by people because it's allowing them to basically stay connected to their device all day by being able to listen to podcasts, watch shows, or just listen to music, but also allowing them to be aware of their surroundings. It's not isolating them from, you know, talking to people at their job. It's not isolating them from being able to hear traffic if they're going to be out running or hear, you know, anything around you. And I think we're only going to see this market uh, continue to grow. But the problem is Bose comes in really hot with the ultra open earbuds coming in at $300 when there's some really impressive options out there that cost much less. And again, that's where the Tozo open buds come in because these came in retailing at $82, but right now they're on sale. And you know, because of a little coupon box or whatever you can check off on Amazon, you can actually pick these up for $49. And that's like 16% right at 16% I believe of what the cost of the Bose is. I really wanted to see kind of how they stacked up and, and I've heard so much good about these and I can tell you these pretty much live up to the hype. Now they do have a different kind of look to them. Uh, they do hook around your ears but they actually swivel at 60 degrees and 90 degrees in two different locations which means they become extremely comfortable and you can have it positioned exactly where you want to uh, because this relies on air conduction technology, which essentially is just a speaker pointed in the direction of your ears. So having them angled just right makes a huge difference. So being able to swivel them and also kind of angle them in a different way uh, is actually a huge plus. Now these are available in four different colors. Uh, they do have Bluetooth 5.3, which means they also support multi-point connection. So you can connect to more than one device at a time but they only come with standard Bluetooth codecs. It's only AAC and SBC. And I think on open ear design products, this is actually okay. I think not being able to have ear tips and not being able to like isolate yourself from everything else usually kind of tends to mean you can't fully take advantage of having the best sound quality you can. I, I think really this type of design is more so just giving you the ability to listen to music and still just be aware of your surroundings. It's not giving you the ability to like fully take advantage of the best you know, audio quality or compression and, and all of those things that are usually important when it comes to a normal pair of earbuds. Now this pair does work with Tozo's app and this app kind of falls into the sound beats or maybe even ear fun category. There, there's not a whole lot of flashiness here when it comes to the app. Uh, it's pretty bare bones. It does allow you to keep uh, these updated, which is important, and it only gives you like five different EQ options. You can't go in and customize the EQ settings the way that you want. Uh, and it also allows you to switch around the touch controls, but I am happy to say though that out of the box, uh, they give you control over everything. So really there's not a need to go into the app and switch anything around. Now, as far as actually using these outdoors, uh, they do come in rated at IPX6, which is definitely higher than the IPX4 that the Bose has, uh, which means you're going to get a little bit better protection if you actually happen to drop these into water. It doesn't mean that your earbuds are just automatically dead, but they're gonna be fine against rain and splashes and sweat and all of those things. Uh, so it does give you a little bit better peace of mind. Now, as far as what all they've included in the box, this is super simple here. Uh, there's no ear tips to worry about. It only comes with a USB-C cable, which you're gonna have to use this for charging. Uh, there's no wireless charging built in on the case. Uh, and again, this is the exact same thing as the Bose, but the battery life on these are actually pretty impressive. On a full charge, you can get about 12 hours on the earbuds themselves. And with the case, you can actually get about 42 hours total. Now there's no fast charging that I've seen on these, uh, so do keep in mind you're going to have to wait a little while to get a full charge out of these. Now if you're going to use these for taking phone calls, I do feel like the mics on here are just decent. It's not anything special. Uh, they are using what they're calling DSP, which is digital signal processing to basically have noise reduction on the things around you to try to block some of that out. 
and I think it, again, does a pretty decent job. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is the mic test using the Tozo Open Buds. And, you know, for the most part, I think it picks up my voice pretty naturally. I mean, it definitely has some artificialness to it, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. Now the sound on these, they are using a 14.2 millimeter driver in each of these. And this is what really makes this pair stand out from the Bose. The Bose, in my opinion, I just don't feel like really delivers a whole lot of low end. And the Tozos surprisingly do. It's kind of odd that uh, maybe it's just because it's blocking a little bit more of your ear canal. I'm not sure. It just has that vibration. And it's not like the bone conduction vibration. It's not trying to simulate bass. Uh, but it does, again, just kind of add to the punchiness when you're listening to music. And when you're listening to anything that has like an explosion going on, if you're seeing that in a movie, uh, you can kind of feel it a little bit. It doesn't sound as flat and lifeless as a lot of open ear style earbuds. But just like other open style earbuds, these tend to focus a lot on the mids and the treble. Vocalists, whether it be male or female vocalists, uh, dialogue from you know movies and TV shows and podcasts, all of that definitely sounds more upfront. And the treble is nice and clean. Now it's not bright or overly harsh in this pair. Uh, it's not trying to give you that sibilant sound when it comes to S's. It's just a clean, detailed sound overall. And the volume on these I feel like get fairly loud. I feel like if you listen to these right at around 60 to 70% volume, that's when it starts to leak some of the audio uh, where people around you are gonna be able to hear what you're listening to. But for the most part, it, it kind of, again, keeps it right here uh, for your own personal listening and tries to keep it from leaking as much. Uh, it's only when you're blasting it that the people around you are gonna be able to tell you know, what it is you're listening to. And then when it comes to the sound stage, sound imaging, uh, because of its design, it definitely has a very open feel to it. Uh, and being able to tell where different sounds are coming from, this pair has zero issues with. It does really good uh, with having a spacious sound, uh, which lends itself very well to movies and TV shows. And depending on what genres you're listening to, especially if you're listening to live music, or if you're listening to anything that's kind of more of an acoustic setup, it has a really like natural feel to it. It's only when you're listening to genres like pop and hip hop and metal uh, that it just kind of starts to not necessarily get congested or muddy, uh, but you can tell that it's closing in a little bit and it kind of takes away from the spacious sound that these have in other genres. So my overall opinion is this is definitely a pair that's flown under the radar, especially even when it comes to me. I looked at these initially, there wasn't anything that really stood out from an appearance uh, standpoint, which I still don't think this is like the sexiest pair of open ear style earbuds out there but it does its job and I think it does its job extremely well. It gives you battery life that you can just keep these on all day. And the sound I think is fantastic, especially again, even comparing it to the Bose, which costs six times as much. I think the value in these, it's just, it's a no brainer. I, I, this is a pair that's easy to recommend. Uh, even if you're somebody that already has a pair of headphones or earbuds, this is a type of pair I think people should have on them just because it allows you to listen in other situations where you can't use your normal pair of headphones or earbuds. But guys, that's my video on the Tozo Open Buds. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.